What I want to do today is to do an unboxing video of one of the jackets which I bought. It's an Alpine Stars GP Force Airflow jacket. And why that particular jacket, I'll come to that. Um, so I live in Malaysia. It's hot, it's humid. Uh, it's not an ideal place to wear a non-perforated leather jacket. So I had to go for a perforated leather jacket. And what are my options here in Malaysia? Number one, um, it is a Dionysi fighter perforated leather jacket. That retails around 3,200 ringgit here in Malaysia. Um, and if you want to add the back protector as well as the chest protectors, it will cost you close to 4,000 ringgit. Uh, 3,900 and change if I remember correctly when I went there. Now, what are the other um, retailers which tend to provide the leather jacket in here? Um, it's Alpine Stars. Uh, the two options which I had in Alpine Stars is the Faster V2. It has perforations in here, it's okay. Um, but I got that in shot the newly launched Alpine Star GP4 Airflow jacket. It has larger perforations or more perforations compared to Faster V2 and it has more of a mesh material here um, not a mesh material clothing material here and i think that's going to foster more airflow when you're riding it now what are the cost of the fast cost of the faster v2 here in malaysia faster v2 here in malaysia costs around two around two thousand ringgit and then you tend to add the back protector and the chest protector that's going to set back by another 400 500 ringgit so you're talking about 2500 ringgit um, for the faster v2 compared to uh, Dionysi that's close to 1500 ringgit cheaper now that is okay but uh, I want to go with the um, GP4's airflow jacket which has got more perforations in there and um, it wasn't recently lost so and I went ahead and checked with Alpine stars here in Malaysia when are they going to make that jacket make available for the customers here in it? The answer is they don't really have a timeline around it. The options which I had was to go for a faster or um, to go for a GP Force jacket which is non-perforated. I, I don't want to do that. So I want to go out and um, buy the GP Force Airflow and my options were pretty limited to order it from some site outside the country and which they ship it out here there are a couple of websites which does that fc motor is one motard in there are a few um uh, there are a few websites which tend to offer that now what i did was to order from fc moto and they shipped it out here right now you got to keep into consideration that this is not an advertisement for fc moto i'm only trying to let you know that i bought it from these guys I came to my doorstep without a lot of challenges. Now, what are the challenges around it? Um, th there is not a lot. You order from them, they'll pack it. If they have it them, they'll pack it. In the next couple of days, you'll get the notification with the tracking number. It took a week for um, the jacket to get to Malaysia from where it is, it is, and it's not bad. And then it's stuck in the customs. and. Uh, you know, when they in the Stuckums, customs, you'll get a message saying that here, your jacket is here. If you want to get your jacket, pay the duty and the rest of the charges around. The duty is not a lot. It's around 160 ringgit. And there are some broker charges or agent charges around it and some miscellaneous charges around it close to, cost me close to 200 ringgit. So... When I take into consideration the cost which I bought from FC Motor plus the shipment plus the duty, all of it put together, it still comes lesser than the Fast V2. I paid close to 1700 ringgit all together to get it in my hand. I'm going to unbox um, this jacket and see how it is. As for my expectations, below my expectations, above my expectations, you know, you guys will see it along with me. So I'm going to cut this open um, and it's not too bad and okay it's not too bad right 
we've got some air pockets bubble thing here. This is okay. We'll put that aside. We got the invoice in here. Not too bad. I'm going to keep it aside. And here is the tech. Well, um, I'm going to take it out. Let's see. Um, mine is the size 52, right? European size. I'm going to try it out. Take it out. Okay, here we go. This one goes inside. Goes inside. And uh, this is what it looks like. And uh, initial impressions, I like it. Um, I like it. The perforations over here are more. Um, there is more clothing material around it, which is going to foster more airflow in here and not too much of advertisement of alpine stars and not it's written gp force in here right and at the back oh i thought they will have written gp force in here but it does not but th that's okay um and one log of alpine stars in here um it has got um a C level 2 nucleon protector over here in, in your hands and in your shoulder, in your elbows and your shoulders and it just got the original uh, Alpine Stars last of things so uh, I'm going to try to snuck in to sneak into this one right and get it opened up there is a liner inside here right um, which I'm going to keep it temporary uh, there are more materials in here. I'm going to keep it temporary and I'm going to jump into this one. Euro 52, that's my size. I'm going to jump in here. Now, let's give this aside. Is it heavy? Yeah, maybe a little bit with the liner I'm going to get rid of the liner but it fits perfectly for me um, not too big around the waistline I got a waistline of 32 or 30 inches it fits perfectly for me 52 good mesh here in the front and mesh here on the back it got stitching right through these perforations that's the only thing which I'm really concerned about to see how it's going to uh, come out on a larger uh, longer term usage so um, as far as this one is concerned the zipper this lining which goes inside which is okay zipper is great feels great um, made of bovine leather or aka buffalo leather but there it is so here is a close-up review of the, um, view of the jacket i am going to move out from the frame and let you focus on the jacket and i'm um, hoping that this video is going to help someone to make those buying decisions i don't really have one for the studio or whatnot uh, but uh, this is the best which i can do and hopefully this will help someone out there right um, so here is um, the perforations, right? It, it comes out really good and the only thing which I'm worried about the stitching is right through the perforation. Hopefully it will not rip off from there in the long run. And um, I removed the liner as you can see, right? And um, to put in the liner, when you put in the liner there is a place for you to lock in that liner and you know easy for you to put your hands in and hands off um, the same thing is there on both the sides right so easy for to put the liner in and off and this is a waterproof jacket in sorry waterproof pocket in here so it'll help you to keep the things which you don't want to get wet which is most of the alpine source jacket 
um, Alpine Source products, great, and it says tech ready, so it's compatible with the um, Alpine Stars um, airbag system, which um, they have. And inside, uh, there is one of these pockets uh, where you can keep your cell phone and the other stuff which you want to keep. Um, it's not waterproof, same another pocket over here uh, which you want to keep. Uh, again, not waterproof. And this is the place where your back protector will go in. Uh, so most of the Alpine Stars back protector will automatically fit in in here. Um, I think over here, this is where it's going to fit in. And I think it should be okay. Talking about the back protector, this is where it goes. It should be okay. Uh, and you got a long zipper in here, which will help you to tie it around an Alpine Stars leather pants, um, the lower part of the riding suit, and that's where this one. And it has got another zipper over here, which um, I'm not really sure how this is going to function. Maybe. Uh, they have Alpine Stars have recently launched another um, back product called as Nucleon Pro I, and when I and they said it's going to work out perfectly well for this one, but it kind of hangs around in this one, and I'm not really sure how to put that in. Um, that's yet to find out. I'm going to get a back protector. Chest protector. Um, I need to figure out how to get a chest protector in because there is no compartments over here to put in a chest protector. So I guess um, the chest protector um, would either come from be uh, from below out here um, or either not from here, either from below and come out here. That's where. I think the chest product will go. Again, um, this one is a 52 size, U Euro size 52, USA size 42, and um, comes up with um, Nucleon level 2 armor on the shoulders and on the elbows. Um, not too much of Alpine Stars writings and, and there is a lot over here which is minimalist when I come to the Alpine Star traditions and whatnot but um, good perforations at the back and I really like it and there is stress material in here which will help you with your riding style whatever that is um, so this is really good overall I'm very happy with my purchase and um, if someone is deciding to go ahead with this particular jacket, I'll highly recommend you guys to go ahead with this one. Um, hopefully this video will help someone in making those buying decisions.